already determined the perimeter of this rectangle, the perimeter of any shape would be the distance around the shape, which we see here highlighted in green. So even though there are formulas to determine the perimeter of various polygons, as long as we know what the perimeter is, we can just add the lengths of all the sides to determine the perimeter. So we're going to determine the perimeter in two ways. The first way, we'll just sum the lengths of the four sides, and then for the second method, we'll use the actual formula. So if we want the sum of the lengths of the four sides, we'll have two sides that have a length of four and two-thirds, this side here and the opposite side, and then we'll have two sides that have a length of two and three-fourths meters, this side here and the opposite side. If we want to find the sum of these four sides, we know we have to obtain a common denominator, which if we have a denominator of three and four, the LCD or least common denominator would be 12. So multiply, so here we'll multiply the denominator and the numerator by four, of course the same here. And then for three fourths, we'll multiply the denominator and the numerator by three. So here we'll have four and eight twelfths. And here we'll have two and nine twelfths. And now we'll determine this sum. Denominator stays the same. We have eight plus eight plus nine plus nine, which is equal to 34. And then we have four plus four plus two plus two, that's 12. Notice this fraction here is improper, and it also can be simplified. So let's simplify it first. This would be the same as 12, and these both have a common factor of two. So this would be 17, six. But now we have to write 17, six as a mixed number, and then add it to 12. So we'll have 17 divided by six. There are two sixes in 17. Two times six is 12, for a remainder of five. So 12 and 17, six, is equivalent to 12 plus 2 plus 5 6. So we have 14 and 5 6 meters as the perimeter of this rectangle. Now let's do this again, but we'll use the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle. The formula for the perimeter of a rectangle is 2 times length plus 2 times width. Let's go ahead and call this the length. We'll call this the width. So using the formula, we're going to have the perimeter is equal to 2 times 2 and 3 fourths plus 2 times 4 and 2 thirds. And now to perform this multiplication, we need to rewrite this mixed number and this mixed number as an improper fraction. So we'll have the perimeter is equal to, I'll put two over one times four times two plus three, that's 11 fourths, plus two times three times four plus two, that would be 14 thirds. And again, we'll put this over one. Now we can simplify this here. Let's go ahead and do that. This is simplified to one, this simplifies to two. So the perimeter is equal to, here we're gonna have 11 halves, plus, here nothing simplifies, so we have 28 thirds. And now to add these, we have to have a common denominator, which would be six, so multiply this fraction by three over three, multiply this fraction by two over two. So we have the perimeter is equal to, this will be 33 six, plus here we have 56 six, which gives us, what, 33 plus 56 is 89. So we have 89, six. And then of course the last step here is to convert this to a mixed number. So 89 divided by six. There's one six and eight. Subtract, bring down the nine. There's four sixes and 29. We have a remainder of five. So that tells us using the formula the perimeter is equal to 14, and the remainder over the divisor would give us 5, 6. So you can see that to use the formula and just to add the lengths of the four sides, the procedure seemed quite different, but of course the result would be the same.
14 and 5, 6 for the perimeter here using the formula, and 14 and 5, 6 here just using the sum of the lengths of the four sides. And I think remembering all of the perimeter formulas can be difficult, so as long as you can remember the perimeter is the sum of the lengths of the sides of a polygon, you can determine the perimeter.